I have never been so happy to receive a waste plug. This is needed to finish this sink and then we are ready to move in the kitchen. What? I can't play now. I'm filming. Sorry for that. Well, all my tools, it's so clean here. I don't have any tools. I have tools. Have you ever seen a waste plug that comes in a little fabric bag? Like some jewelry. It's because it's golden. Is that the right size? This now. Yes, it is the right size. Of course it's the right size. Did anybody doubt that I ordered the right size? I know you didn't. Unfortunately, this piece, which is an essential piece to complete the installation, is too long and I need to shorten it. And I use this to shorten it. And some minutes later, it's done, installed. And the crowning of the cake on the ice of the cream. Done. No, better. Well, you need to shut the door. It looks ugly. Huh? It looks ugly. Why is it ugly? Why, why have you do, not because done the same? Because you can't grab it. It's too close to okay, the... Okay, but this looks super ugly. Why couldn't you have just done another round one? What's wrong? I think that's good. It works really well. I, I think it looks kind of ugly. Why didn't you ask me? Because I assumed she would be happy with this. No, I'm not happy with it. <laughs> Sorry. I think it looks no, nice. No, because I don't know what to do. I don't know how to do it. Good question, Lily. Yeah, and also, Lily, because I'm doing all the washing, all the cleaning, all the breakfast this morning. Why don't you switch? Yeah, why don't you switch? If you know better, yeah. Yeah, all right. And let's see how Papa manages with the breakfast for the guests. <laughs> so the chief architect decided that these magnets don't look nice here. And it's true, it kind of ruins the cupboard. So, luckily, I found these little ones. They look better, much better. Okay, some drilling and off-camera swearing later. I have finally a functional door. I also have a injury. It doesn't look much like this, but if I would squish here, blood would come out. Now, I don't squish because a lot of people don't like to see blood, but I wanted to know how, how brave I am. Having this beautiful range cooker is a perfect addition to this kitchen and it's even going to be better once it works, which means once there's gas. In order to connect it to the gas and switch it on, I need to make sure that the gas pipes don't leak. I wouldn't like to get into trouble while it's cooking. The very important gas leak test. So that's where the gas comes out. We have a switch behind that wall and there's another switch here. I open that switch. I don't see any bubbles. Should we find out if there's gas coming? Yes, we should. How can we find out if there's gas coming? By opening this. I can smell it. It's gas, it's good stuff. Expensive, very expensive right now. But the pure stuff you can get directly from Russia. And now the Feuerprobe, or the fire test, as we call it in German, literal here. Thank you. But now to something way more challenging. We don't have guests, so I was able to turn off all the water in the house and I will be able to connect these pipes with the new taps. I might be known as the Tom Cruise of waste pipe tutorials, but remember, waste pipe is outgoing. Here we have incoming, and these are under pressure. Oh, well, oh, no. oh. Okay, that was expected. Now, I'm going down, turning the water on, cold water and hot water. Yeah. 
and if there is a massive, massive leak. leak, you shout. I blame this one on the on the tools. It wasn't really screwed in. So it wasn't my fault technically, it was the tools, bad tools. We got the plugs delivered from our favorite plug socket company, THPG. They make these beautiful um, bakelite or bakelite, bakelite plug sockets. And so we can install them. Do we need this type of plug sockets inside a cupboard hidden? Certainly not. But it looks nice and after all the effort that went into the kitchen, I couldn't just put some random plug sockets in. And someday, somebody will come and move the coffee machine aside and say, hey, I like your plug sockets. And that's all I need at my age to be happy. Somebody that comes and says, I like your plug sockets. A lot of people ask why we do have two taps, so you can't mix cold water and warm water. And the answer is simple, because it looks good. There's absolutely no other reason for that. As a matter of fact, it's extremely unpractical. I saw these things in the UK for the first time. God invented the mixer tap and most civilized countries use it. It makes sense because here you have either cold water or you burn your fingers. And now, after 10 years of marriage with an English woman, I bought myself this kind of tap. Isn't it crazy? But look at them, don't they look good? Now that the water works, the time has come for me to install the bins. And these are special bins. They live in here. And when you open the door, automatically, like magically, they slide out. There's some screws. Instructions. Ridiculous to think people need instructions to install a bin. Okay, we're gonna put this in here. Take them out. And then, It's not an instruction, it's a template. I wouldn't need instructions if that was instructions. But as it is also a template, it's helpful. Scientifically speaking, the radius that it's not the same as if it was a door which is flush. This door, you see this door. So there's a radius problem, which also means that the whole thing is completely useless. It wasn't cheap and I bought two of them and both are completely useless. It's probably way too late to send them back. That's very annoying. Big day has come, Philip. After six months of working in this kitchen here, we finally move. And Charlie started already. Yeah, Charlie can't wait. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It wasn't easy to work in that other kitchen. But that's over. New kitchen is here. Now we have a functioning kitchen. There's a few details still to yeah. finish. The bins. Yes. We'll talk about that later. But for now, we're going to focus yeah. on moving. Should we open this back up again? Oh, Ziggy's ready. He's ready to go through. Yes, you can have opening it. Well done. There's still a little bit of uh, finishing touches. Finishing to do on here. Yes. But we won't talk about that right now. Hide these problems from our viewers. Ta da! <laughs> Welcome. That is the first walk from the kitchen to the back kitchen. Actually, is it the back kitchen or is it more the... Laundry room. Laundry room. Yeah. It's not the back kitchen anymore. Hey Zig, you gonna try it? Look. It's back kitchen slash laundry room. 
What's here? What's through here? Back kitchen slash laundry room. I just had to stop quickly the time lapse of us moving the kitchen because it opens. Now that's that's nothing bad. That's probably for a kitchen if you don't have a, a handle or something. And it's quite cool and I can show it to my friends and show off. It also asks me to pair it with an application on my phone. Probably I can do a lot of different cool things with it, but I don't want to do a lot of cool different things with it. I just want to wash dishes. So I hope the machine doesn't give me a notification each time somebody fills the dishwasher. No device is found. You know, it starts and it doesn't, it's, of course, it's complicated. Like, it, it annoys me. I'm annoyed again. Well, I like the machine because, it's, you know, it does the, this is, this is a good point. It's a good thing. And it's very fast. It washes dishes in like 15 minutes or so. But, but, don't like the phone connecting thing. No device is found. Miele app wants to use a temporary Wi-Fi network to connect to your device. Well, good for me. Temporary Wi-Fi network, good. Use it. Connecting error. Oh. It's not really a proper meal. I just make a quick pasta because it's late and we need to be quick. It's brilliant. It feels so good and it's quite high up and I like that because I'm very tall. Everything is so perfect. It's a perfect size to wash vegetables. And now something for you at home. One of the best things of the broccoli is the stem. Don't throw it away. Cut off the hard bits and then slice it. And if you never tried that before, you don't need to cook it. Can I try? It's super yummy. You can also eat it with a bit of salt and pepper. It's a heart of broccoli. It's a pity to throw that away. I think it will take a, a little while for us to figure out where everything is. Yeah. <laughs> but we don't have an excuse anymore because in the old kitchen, we always said, you know, it's just a temporary kitchen. We don't need to bother about it too much. But now we need to find the perfect solution for everything. Where are the champagne glasses? Uh, up there. Uh, can, oh. can you reach them? Yeah. I think Charlie put them there and Charlie is a little bit taller than me. So I can just about reach. Perfect. <laughs> and I think we've got a few more to put in there, so maybe there's at least two. Good. Some champagne. By the way, Philip, I noticed yeah. that you did get your touch of orange. Where? Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Some and some plums, some yellow plums. Yeah, that's very generous of you, Anna. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. Cheers, my love. Cheers. Pass in a lot of salt water. Good quality pasta, that's the important thing, right? Yes. And a bit of Normandy creme fraiche. Slices of broccoli. The kids the, like that, yeah. The kids want big slices, they don't want small slices. It's not practical to have to exit the kitchen to drop something in a bin. To <laughs> But it's such a big bin. Such an ugly bin, we don't want it in the kitchen. So we decided we don't have a bin in the kitchen. We'd rather go to the other room. However, champagne. There's always a space for champagne in this kitchen. <laughs> Some Normandy smoked trout. Yeah. I'm sure they sell exactly the same in Alsace and call it Alsace smoked trout, but big chunks of smoked trout. Simple. And when the pasta is finished, you put the pasta in here. Kids are happy. What is it? Five minutes and the kids are happy. And I add a little bit of this, which is my magic ingredient. It's homemade salt with bialauch, which in French is blaye d'ours and in English is? Wild garlic. Wild garlic. And there's no smoke because all the fumes go into the chimney. What do you think? Too high. Too high? Yes, of course. Like this? Too high. No. Too, too low. Too high. Too high? A bit lower. Yeah. 
And how about putting it on this wall rather? On this wall. We can try it, but I think I prefer the other wall. I mean, it looks nice here, but I prefer the other wall. And Charlie does too. Yeah, Charlie, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's better on the other wall. Thank you, Charlie. <laughs> we should always listen to Charlie. <laughs> okay. Careful your fingers. I just don't want to have to repaint any Why do you hold the hammer here? Not... I don't know, because that's my technique. No, the technique is to hold it at the back. Yeah, okay. So you have more strength. Yeah. But how does it look? I think it looks fantastic. And Anna, this was the painting yeah. from your grandma, from your nana, yeah. that inspired us for the color scheme here. And it looks perfect. It looks, it looks amazing. Touching, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm so happy to have that up now. I think my nana would be happy. She never got to see the chateau, but her painting is here, so that's really nice. <laughs>